Our first story is a very Romeo and Juliet-esque true crime story. Our first story is a love story. A love story between a young couple, very much like Romeo and Juliet. And it's only apt that it takes place in my favourite place in the entire world, Castleton, in a place called Hope Valley, Derbyshire, England. This story features Alan and Clara, a young couple, madly in love but forbidden to match by Clara's father. This couple, destined to be together, decides to run away on horseback. Their location was Peak Forest Chapel. The Gretna Green of its day, where you could marry with fewer restrictions than at normal chapels. Unfortunately, Clara and Alan never reached their final destination. Let's find out what happened. To fully understand the depth of the story, we need a quick look at Castleton. Castleton is a beautiful little village surrounded by hills and has a lot of underground cave systems. Some of the cabins are still open for public use today. Located in the corner of Castleton is Winnett's Pass, which was part of the now collapsed limestone cave system. The steep hills on either side of the valley were formed by the action of water eroding the limestone over hundreds of years. The pass itself is very steep. Very steep indeed, it is 28% incline which is really really steep so as we've just discussed our story is of the star crossed lovers alan and clara in 1785 this couple were madly in love unfortunately due to a wealth divide that's right clara's parents had a bit of money alan's parents were a fair bit poorer and because of this wealth divide clara's family said nope absolutely not not happening we cannot allow this match to go on. Obviously, in very Romeo and Juliet fashion, the couple were adamant that they needed to be together. Unfortunately, their parents were just as adamant it weren't to be. One day, Clara's brother threatened Alan, and this obviously shook the couple a fair bit. The very next day, they grounded up as much money as they could. Now, the money they collected was £200, which were £35,000 in today's money, so... An admirable amount for a young couple to start a new life. Now the plan was to head to Peak Forest Chapel. Now what was special about this chapel is it was very much its Gretna Green of the day. In which you could get married with fewer legal restrictions to where you could in other chapels. So for example they didn't need their parents consent to get married. So they got their £200, they both got on the horseback and the very next day they rode off to find Peak Forest Chapel. And get wed. Unfortunately, they would never reach their final destination. Staying at inns along the way to rest themselves and the horse, eventually they got to Castleton. Now, Castleton's only six miles away. Now, we can't be fully sure of Alan and Clara's exact location of starting, but it's believed that they started in Scotland, which is 155 miles by today's road, all the way down to Castleton. And they'd got to Castleton, which was just six miles away. Alan and Clara decided to go into the inn, chill out, rest for heads, rest for horse, and the next day they would set off, or that night they'd set off to the chapel in which they'd get married. Unfortunately, while Alan and Clara were sat, chilling out, having some rest, guys, I'm right, sorry to do this to you. This is not the right channel. I've just started another channel for this type of story. So if you're interested in this story, if you want to know what happened to Alan and Clara, please do head over there. The link is in the description right below. Go down, press more, and click the link on the description. It'll take you to my new channel. This new channel is brand new, so it needs as much support as possible. If you are interested in true crime type stories, conspiracy stories, crazy whatever stories, then please do go over to my other channel and subscribe ASAP. Do it now. Thanks guys, and sorry for a bit, but this video is up on there now, so you can finish watching it if it has got your attention. Cheers guys!